Scroggins, down in Texas, how are we on this new Monday in November? I hope you had a wonderful weekend, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever stage of life you are in, I am just so incredibly happy today for so many reasons. I am uh, just, I don't know, I'm just really, really happy. It's been a remarkable four days in my life and my family. We have a new baby that arrived on Thursday. He and mom are already home and they're doing so fantastic. And I, uh, it's my fourth grand, fourth grandchild. Now I have two girls and two boys. Boys at the end, girls in the middle. And oh, I'm just, I am over the moon, truly. You know, I wanted to do a video about this thing for all of my entrepreneurs out there that are either on the fence or decided or wherever you are in your process to become a um, entrepreneur. But this translates into other areas of work, even if you're not a entrepreneur. Because uh, it is the one thing that, oh, I have learned in the last really five years as a business owner that I um, value more and more as I stay in entrepreneurship uh, because it gives me, oh, it gives me the greatest gift and that is time. Time to be with my spouse, time to be with my children and my grandchildren, my family, and I control it. Nobody else controls when I go see them, how I go see them, or for how long I go see them. That is an unbelievable gift that being your own boss gives you. I, I can't even tell you the value that that's given to my life in the last 10 years. Because I, I haven't been, I haven't missed anything. You know, when you're the slave to corporate America, unfortunately, Corporate America has to come first, right? And that's that's with any business. But when you own your own business, you have the you have the ability to decide. There is you cannot put a price on that. You just you can't. It's an invaluable gift that you give when you when you get when you are the boss. And it is such a big deal. I can't explain to you how big a deal it is. I look at my children, for example, and they all work for somebody else. Two of them work for counties. One of them is a nurse, and she works for a corporation. And their biggest struggle is time. That's not right. Okay? Um, I am Australian, and I can tell you the difference in work life here versus work life in Australia compared to what my aunts and my uncles have experienced versus what I have experienced, which what now my children experience, there's no difference uh, in work, but in the time off res that, that each country allows, it is miles apart. It is one end of the spectrum and the other. And we are in the United States so far behind the rest of the world when it comes to giving our workers the time that they need. Americans are workaholics, and this is why Americans are so overweight. This is why Americans have so much stress, because there is not enough time for any of us to decompress when you work in the corporate world. One of the biggest questions I'm asked as an entrepreneur is how do I manage being an entrepreneur? What is, what is the absolute most important thing in my world to ensure that I can remain an entrepreneur? There's, there's so many that are so vitally important and they all intertwine with each other, but the number one most important thing to the success of any business owner is the support they have with their immediate partner and their family. 
you must, you must have a good support system for so many reasons. But just for you and for your emotional well-being, it is vitally important if you're in a relationship that you have a relationship, a relationship where your partner completely and totally supports your decision to be a business owner. It's a big decision, guys. It's a really big decision. And it shouldn't be taken, taken um, off the cuff. It needs to be a decision that you really think about and how that decision is going to affect your relationship. And if you are married with children, how is it going to affect your, your family as well? Um, being a independent business owner means that you are responsible 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, so you know seven days a week, and you are it. And so there are times where I will get a phone call uh, at 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning. Do I like that? Not necessarily, but if it's an emergency, then it's my responsibility to deal with it. And so there's a give and take. And having that unconditional support as an entrepreneur and a business owner, it is crucial to the success of your business as a business owner. It just is. There's, there's no gray here. It is or it isn't. You either have support or you don't. If you're in the middle, that's not a good place to be because then you are worrying about the second bit, the second most important thing in your life, right, which is your business. Your relationship has to be first, period. It doesn't matter that you're a business owner. Your, your relationship with your loved one has to be first in your family. Above everything else, all the time, there are no exceptions to that. But when you're a business owner, your business is like your baby, and it is your responsibility to take care of that. And your loved ones have to be willing to be on the, on the same ship with you when it comes to this and have no um, hostility or resentment. I specifically waited until my youngest child was a senior in high school when he had already started to have his own time and his own friends and he was in his last two months of high school when I made the decision to be a business owner. Well, when I opened my business. So I didn't have to sacrifice the most important year of his life, which was his senior year. And I actually gave myself more opportunity to be involved in it because I was a business owner and because I could go wherever I wanted, whenever I wanted, and I didn't have to miss anything. It's important to weigh those two things, right? You gotta weigh your business and your family. And you, you've gotta figure out as a business owner where this, this leveling balance is. Because it's crucial that you manage that. And it's crucial that you have the support mechanism of the most important people in your life. Because I'm going to give you a little secret that I figured out really early. If my family supported me 100%, which I knew would help me become successful, then I knew I was going to be successful because I had the support and encouragement and everything associated with it from my family. And I knew that I was going to be successful. That I, you know, I knew that I was gonna have ups and downs and bumps along the way. Right now is a, probably the second most difficult year of my career because of where we are as a nation um, and our economy. It is a horrible, it's a horrible year. But I've also had the worst, worst 18 months of my personal life and if I had not been my own boss and had the time to deal with the things that I need to deal with personally, I probably would have had a nervous breakdown. Just because I, the fear of, of owing a company, me, my time, I couldn't have managed it. There's just no way. And I know that. And I am 
so incredibly blessed and grateful that I was my own business. I was my own boss. Um, that I could spend the last six weeks at my mom's side. I would have been devastated not to be there for her for that. And I probably would never be able to forgive myself. And luckily for me, because I'm an independent business owner, I was able to do that and still manage my business, be successful, take care of my clients, have the support of my family that picked up the slack for me while I was away. And that is such a valuable piece of this puzzle as potential business owners. So if you haven't really looked into your relationships with your loved ones, those that are in your household that depend upon you, and you haven't had that conversation with them, you need to. It's important. They need to be on the same ship with you. They need to be the passengers on your ship because you're the captain. And you've got to have the support of everyone to make sure that your ship comes in safe and secure and successfully. And they will be your biggest support system without a shadow of a doubt. So give them, give them the opportunity to express their concerns and their uh, fears. There may not be any. And if there's not, oh my goodness, rock and roll, get out, get going. Hit your home runs and your grand slams and just do it. Don't second guess yourself. You know, you know whether it's the right thing or the wrong thing. But as I've said through this whole series of videos, you must do your research. You must do your due diligence. And you need to know the moment you open your doors what's expected of you as a business owner from the state, from your local entities. You must know that before you open the doors. So you are prepared. So you can be as successful as you possibly can. Families support it is a huge part of being an entrepreneur make sure you give those in your life an opportunity to express their concerns their goals their fears and their expectations you will be better off if you allow that conversation now before you get started than a year and a half into it where you've got a teenager who's having problems because they don't have the time they need with you. I would, that would be horrible. Especially for teenagers. It's, it's the hardest time of anyone's life is in their teenage years. So, I hope this helps. This is our daily video for our entrepreneurs out there. I'm Carrie Scroggins. I'm the business owner from KDS Insurance Services, Carrie's Corner, and my Amari distributorship. And I would love to hear from you. Please shoot me questions. Let's connect. I'm happy to help. That's what these videos are about. Me giving back to you so you too can be as successful as you want to be. Take control of your life. Take control of your career. If you've got a dream, dream it big you are never too old to chase your dreams and as my mom said choose happiness this is my happiness choose your happiness be confident about what you're choosing and then just get out there and get it done you can do it I know you can and I'm pretty sure you know you can too we'd love to hear from you so let's connect please Thank you for joining me. Make sure you hit the bell so you know the next time I post a video. Please like and subscribe too. I do want to hear from you. All you got to do is go to my main landing page, which is my full name, Carrie Devlin Scroggins. You can get my phone number there. You can get my email address and we can chat if you'd like. So I would love to hear from you. Have a fantastic day, everybody. We are now officially in the holiday season. Thanksgiving is in two weeks. two weeks. Can you believe that? 
And then after that, Christmas is three weeks. We're six weeks away from the end of the year. Time is running fast. If you want to open by January 1st, you need to get the fires going and the long hours ready so you can get your business open for January 1st, 2024. And if I can help you along the way, please reach out to me. I sincerely mean that, and I do want to hear from you. So it's a fantastic, beautiful Monday in November, everybody. Get out there and hit the road running. Get your Grand Slam posted for the day, and I will see you in my next video. This is Carrie from Texas. Have a wonderful Monday, everyone. See you soon.